So Carly, we just got back from lunch. Yeah. Um, you had this interesting idea about data set. Uh, so I'm really interested in the Rate My Professor data set, which you kind of already have, where you would look at the comments specifically instead of like the number. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Rate My Professor is, I've got, I was able to scrape all the data from Rate My Professor. Not sure if I was supposed to do that, but I have the entire data set of Rate My Professor. And what I think would be really interesting is you were asking, like, how do students perceive you, basically, right? Yeah, I want to know, like, because there's, I have, I think I have, like, 150 ratings on there. And so instead of, like, read it, having to read all of them, I kind of want to know, like, a summary of what they said. So I'm thinking even more broad than this. Like, we'll, we'll do something just for you. Okay. But I'm wondering, yes, of the entire University of Illinois, like, how many... If I were to label every professor as either by their gender, so male or female, um, what words used are only used to describe, describe women faculty versus only used to describe men faculty? That would be super interesting. So I think there's enough data that we can do analysis. I'm thinking like we're going to use an algorithm called TFIDF. I don't know if you've ever heard of TFIDF. You actually another, another acronym that I don't know what it means. <laughs> So it's an interesting hour. It's term frequency inverse document frequency. No, I've never heard of that. So TFIDF, this is the idea that we're going to look at how many times a word's mentioned across the entire document. So this is kind of like text analysis? It is actually a form of text analysis. OK. And what it does is it gives scores to the uniqueness of a word in a particular category. even it, And it eliminates words that are unique across all categories. Got it. So something like V, we're going to see V appear a lot. Uh -huh. So the inverse document frequency is going to be the opposite of the one over the document frequency, right? Yeah. So because V appears a lot, the inverse document frequency is going to be very, very small. Got it. So it's going to have a very small weight because V is very common. Yeah. Um, and we don't really care if they're saying V. Yeah. It's not an interesting word. Yeah. But what might be a word that you would expect to describe women faculty that don't just, that's not used to describe men? Ooh, uh, <laughs> that's a provocative question. <laughs> Maybe um, nice. Nice. Okay. So I Men expect. Nice. Yeah, not nice. Um, yeah, I mean, there's gonna definitely be. We're gonna see some things like she and her. Those should be our expected results. Yeah. Because it'd be very weird to see a she when the faculty is a man. Um, but I do think those words, like nice, may be a characteristic you describe for women that aren't described for men. What do you think men might describe? Yeah, as? I kind of think that for women, they might talk about the, their personality more, whereas the men, they might talk about like their content and how much they know more. But that's a total guess. I don't know. So what I think I can do over this weekend is we can get a list of words that are most used to describe only female faculty mm -hmm. and a list of words most uniquely used to describe the male faculty. And then we can Ooh. come back and see if that hypothesis. That would be, I am totally on board with that. Boom.